Bay Rush Farm. Some crazy, crazy rain. So today's Thursday, September 30th. And this rain came from nowhere in my eyes. This is Mullines Road, by the way. Not sure if you guys can see clearly. Because the rain is falling very hard. Lightning and thunder. Plus, the road is already flooded. And when it comes to rain, Mullines Road is the fastest road to flood. So right now, the water is at my door. So this vehicle that I'm driving it has been super reliable in the rain so it just needs to continue being that way but it's a lot of water on the road the water is almost coming in on me almost coming in but welcome back to the channel it's another rain drive you know we cannot do a rain drive without rain you know i hope we don't have to do flood drives but i guess this is flooding in itself because the water is super super high you can see it on the vehicle that are coming down some persons are already touring um until it run off because some cars are too low um yeah but they say in water what are some of the tips when driving in every water i know the first one if the road is too flooded you need to stay away and if there's any fording you know or any area that you know is deep you should stay away as well that's a given but what are some of the other tips i know about you know no over revving for example if it's a manual vehicle um keep on a steady pace um stay behind a large vehicle if you can so those are some of the pointers so what are some of the other pointers when driving in rain to one prevent your vehicle from shutting off and you know something worse you know the other day I saw a video not sure many of you guys saw it on social media we are a Uga delivery bike person so he's detouring a Uga delivery bike person was doing a delivery up on Charlton drive up that side and up by that side you also have a Ford where in the dry season or you know on a regular you have to drive down in the Ford to go across but when there is every rain they always recommend not driving there because it's a literal You'd say what well, riverbed or gully bed you're driving through. So the bike man chants it and he couldn't cross it. So the water washed him away, the bike away, whatever food he was delivering. Uh, but I did see a subsequent video where he he was rescued, so thank God he didn't drown. They also got by the bike as well. But I know he must have washed a good distance. Look how low this is. I mean how high the water is for that van. Sound as if he should shut, shut off as well because it's revving yeah so at least that incident the bike man life was spared but you know you have to be careful when driving in these waters um, I was already on the road I have to be on the road right now so if it was a case I was home and didn't have to come on the road then that would be good So we're passing Bird's Auto on Mullines Road. I don't know though, for years over and over and over and over, we have these issues with flooding. You know, nothing is ever done about it. Nothing. You know, I know the drainage system on most of these roads is non-existent, but you know, in times like this, it really shows up, shows up a lot. Remember to like the video though guys, remember to comment 
I know this is not the best of quality video um, I literally just took out my phone started recording not planned or anything so remember to like leave your comment let me know what you think about rain in Jamaica overall flooding in Jamaica um, some good driving tips for driving in the rain you know that sort of stuff so still on more lines approaching Morton Park and I know closer to half a tree on more lines road there's a section a dip that I'm certain 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 is flooded and nobody can pass it's close to um, I don't remember the name of that area but I should be passing close that side so I'll try to show you guys as well so Mullines Road, Kingston, Jamaica every rain, rain drive, flooding I think another good tip as well when you're driving in the rain you have to use other vehicles to estimate the height of the water you know because if you see if you see a van is um is is, is is almost covered and you're in a car then it would make no sense so right here has a dip as well so it's a little bit deeper because the road literally goes down but I have to give kudos to my car I've driven in a lot of flood waters and she has been reliable yeah I think where I was talking is up by the section of Olympia Crown Hotel now Waltham Park is a different story so we're crossing the intersection for Waltham and Mullines and you can see that it's a literal riverbed so I know right down no, all the way down on Walter must be super flooded. Okay, you can see the amount of water going down that side. So, as I said, oh, this side will be impossible. So vehicles are already turning back because they cannot, cannot pass. So remember to like, guys. Remember to comment. Remember to share. Remember to subscribe. It's completely free. So the thunder lightning has died down a bit. And the roads are flooded. And the water has decreased a bit as well. I'm going to go down that side just to show you guys what's happening down there. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm definitely not going to go across. But the water is super deep. Super, super deep. Um, a few vehicles just chanced it and came across. So if you if you want to use that Pro Box, so this is where the Pro Box is, and it hasn't gone in the middle of it as yet. So right here is always flooded like this when river rain falls very hard. So it's right in the vicinity of the Olympia Crown Hotel. So personally I'm going to turn back but just wanted to show you guys. So there's a van chance in it. And I think an SUV behind them. But I think there's a detour though. There's a detour to the right. Um, that brings you around this let me call it swimming pool so that's the van coming through so that's the height of the van and look look at the wave being created you'll be surprised the van gets you know shut off Alright guys, so you know it's rush to discover boss on the spot just showing you guys what's happening. 
So see you on another video and thanks for watching.